Hello everybody, how are you all? Today I'm here with a new video of SPSS video series. So today we will learn how to create a bar chart using SPSS. Uh, so you can see uh, in this word file there are some data for different kind of waste and this data are for total phosphorus so we will use this data to create our bar chart so let's move forward first of all we will just input all of this data to spaces so we have already added the data to spaces and then click on graphs then chart builder and then you can see there are so many bar charts bar uh, our teacher bird chart is, is this one so we will just drag this one to this place for example if we just want to create this kind of bird chart so we have to drag this to this section but we will work on it so there are uh, two variables so we have to input these variables in x-axis and y-axis so this is for x-axis and this is for y-axis now you can click on ok and a new window will be appear and that is SPSS viewer so you will find out the desired bar graph here now we will work on this bar chart so that we can make it more eye-catchy double click on it so a new pop-up pin will be appear named chart editor so we can edit this chart from this editor double click on it and we can just change the color into white so you can click on here and then apply and we can also change the color of this bar just click on it and then color so we will just select any color and that will be applied here so for this one we will just select this color and apply so this is our desired color even we can also change the depth and angles for example we, if we want to uh, create a 3d uh, so we have to click on 3d and then apply and then we can also change the color in this way okay then this is our desired bar chart so we can edit the text from here so we will write total phosphorus and we will also write the unit as ppm and we will also edit this as west types so this is our final product and we can just click on this and this will be automatically saved in this SPSS viewer section so now we will just export this as a file export and we can just change the name data1 and that will be set in desktop section of this laptop so click on ok yes so finally we have exported the bar chart this is our final product our final bar chart uh, thank you everyone for watching this video if you really like this video please hit the like button and share this video with your friends